Hello viewers, this is Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. This is your teacher Rajan Mishira, we talk you through an history topic. Today we're getting to look at the, exa uh, the cabinet, right? Remember we, are, we looked at um, the arms of the government, we said that we've got the judiciary, we have uh, the executive and also we have the judiciary. Now we did look at the legislature, right, as an arm of government, where we said the legislature has got two arms, uh, the two houses, rather, that's the, the, the Senate and also the National Assembly. Then we, we, we came down to the, the, to the executive, right, and now we are at the cabinet. Now, by the end of the lesson class, what do we need to understand about the cabinet? We need to have uh, the, the composition of the, ca the cabinet, right? What does it comprise of the cabinet and also the functions of the cabinet? Welcome all and let us learn. Now, the cabinet. Good. Remember, we said earlier that the cabinet comprises of a... Uh, uh, the, the, the one, the, 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 we, we have got the president who chairs the cabinet, right? However, we didn't get to look at uh, other composition of the, of the cabinet, but we did say that... Um, the president is the one who chairs the cabinet. Good. That's the cabinet. That is it. You can see. You can see president. The president is at the, at the center of that. Right. Then you have got those who are sitting at the front and those who are uh, standing by at the back. Now, that's the cabinet. That is, that is in, the, in the Kenyan state house. Right. And that is the Kenyan cabinet. Now, we get to look at the composition. What does it comprise of? Right. So the, the, the one person we can, we, we can clearly note there is the president, right? Now let us get a look at the composition. What does it comprise of? Good. Composition, composition of the cabinet. Now, we first have the president, right? And we did say the president is the one who chairs the cabinet, right? When, I, when, I, when I've got cabinet meetings, it's the president who chairs the cabinet. Now we can clearly get to see that the one position of the cabinet is the president. Let us get a look at the second one, right? We have the deputy president, right? Remember, the deputy is the one who deputizes the president, right? So the second, the second composition of the cabinet is the president, uh, deputy president. And finally, we have the attorney general, right? We have the attorney, attorney general. That's the cabinet. And remember, we also have the cabinet, the cabinet secretaries. We have the cabinet secretaries. Good. So the president, the deputy president, attorney general, and also the cabinet secretaries. And we did say that the cabinet secretaries are appointed by the president by the approval of the National Assembly. Right? The president appoints. Right? Now, after appointing the cabinet secretaries, the president forwards the name to the, the, the National Assembly. The National Assembly now gets approved. Right? Or disapproved those appointed members of the cabinet or the cabinet secretaries now class can we to look at the function of the cabinet what does it have to do one they appear before the committee of the national assembly or the senate when required by the committee and answer questions pertaining various ministries right we always see this whereby cabinet secretaries get to uh, go be go before the house committees either in the national assembly or the either in the National Assembly or the Senate, right? The cabinet secretary gets to appear. For example, we can get to see uh, that is a Kiunjuri, Kiunjuri before the committee, right? That is when he was the minister of, uh, the cabinet secretary of uh, agriculture, right? Then recently we also saw Mutai Kawe and, uh, and uh, sorry, at the, at the, at the in the house, right? In the committee of uh, health, good. Then we also, uh, we, we had also seen earlier uh, Matiang being summoned, Right now, those cabinet secretaries always appear before House committees, either in the National Assembly or the Senate. They also discuss matters. They also discuss matters of national interest and, interna and international importance. Right to expand government policy. These are the people who make sure that the government policy is being expanded. Right. Talk of um, cabinet secretaries of foreign affairs. Right. All those. Good. So they get to expand the government policy, all those and those issues of international importance. And also, class, they ensure government policy is implemented by the civil servants. Right? Talk of the Public Service Commission. Yes, the Public Service Commission. These are the people now who ensure that the, the, the government policy is being uh, implemented by these civil servants. Lastly, but not least, 
provide government with full and regular reports concerning matters under, under their control. That's why you see always these cabinet secretaries, they always appear before the house as a whole house or as a committees, whereby they get to tell us, right? They get to tell the state, they get to tell the house, right? The matters concerning uh, matter, uh, in matters um, within the jurisdiction, uh, uh, right? Where, where, where are they? Their control, under their control, right? With the Minister of Health, they get to, to brief the House matters on health. And finally, they assist and advise the President on day-to-day -day running of the government. And of course, for our task, can we get to, 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 to name who chairs the Cabinet and also the duties of the Cabinet Secretaries? And for reference, get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government, Form 3, Oxford University Press, the 7th edition, and as always, this is a Lumi TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. Get in touch with us via contact address that is on your screen. Thank you so much. Your tutor was Roger Michira.